Hello, today I'm working on an Acer Aspire F15. The specific part number is F5-571-5050. This computer is a, it's a good laptop. It's got an Intel i5-5200U processor and eight gigs of RAM, but it has a one terabyte mechanical hard drive that is very slow. This computer, when you start it up, it just, it's constantly waiting for the disk. The disk is in use 100% of the time for basically the whole time I was using this for about 10 minutes. So I think there's a problem developing with the disk. It's not just normal slowness. And so we're going to replace this with a one terabyte Samsung Evo SSD. So uh, let's get started. In this computer, the battery is integrated. So I can't just pop the battery out before I start. Just going to double check that I've got all the screws. Yep. So this computer, I can see the, the bottom case comes off. It's actually already separated in this corner, so I'm going to start there. Yeah, that's coming off pretty well, pretty easily. The VGA port on this side is encircled by the plastic of the bottom case. So I know that this case isn't going to just lift straight off. It'll have to come off like a book from that side. The USB port on this side is recessed. So this will just lift up past that USB port. So you can see here that it's deep enough that this plastic will just pass by it. It won't have to be pulled around it. So my lifting it up, I just popped these clips back in. So I'm gonna go down this side and then I'll come around the laptop, separating it as I go. And these clips are nice and easy. They're not binding or you know making it feel like I'm breaking anything at all, which is great. There's still a couple of clips here in the front. Oh, so there's a wire, a speaker wire. Uh, you can't quite see. Mm, I'm gonna turn this this way. So there's a speaker wire here that's connected to a little plug here on the motherboard. So I'm just gonna push that down. And now that's away, okay. There's not a lot holding these hinges down. Once those case screws are out, there is only one screw in each side. Here's the wee battery. Here's the hard drive. And it looks to me like the only thing holding the hard drive in is the friction from the rubber case that they have it in. So I can just lift it up and pull it away from the SATA connector. Now that's the hard drive out. This computer has eight gigabytes of RAM on a single chip 
So there's room to double that up to 16 if the user ever wanted to. Everything looks great. Um, this is a very nice computer and it's in very good shape. So I'm just going to pop this into my drive caddy. So I've got a Samsung 860 EVO drive that I'll put in here. And I'll just turn on my other drive caddy. Okay, so now the two Cyberinch disc caddies, one of them is the empty Samsung. So disc six will be my target. Disc seven is the customers. So I'm just gonna copy disc seven to disc six. Different sizes, no. So we'll choose to copy without resizing. For some reason, Minitool, whenever I want it, whenever I let it resize, it misses the last partition. It, it doesn't allocate enough room. I think that first partition was given too much space for some reason. So I'll just have it copy like for like, bit for bit, straight over, and apply. These disk caddies are connected via USB 3.1, which should be 10 gigabit per second. Um, I find that they're very fast, although when I'm copying a mechanical hard drive to an SSD, the mechanical hard drive is the limiting factor, so it can only go so fast. So now we wait. All right, that took long enough. Okay, so this will go in that way, and I believe this plastic cover was on top, so it goes like this. I mean, that couldn't have been much easier, really, assuming it all works. So now I just need to remember to plug in this speaker wire which I, guess I can do like this. So tuck that around all there. <clears throat> no, that didn't quite work. Let me undo that. So I just need to make sure that this corner is around the USB ports and the HDMI port. It's all lined up here like this. This looks perfect. Okay. I'm gonna start the screws up there. I'm going to take off this noisy boil. So I'm just starting these screws. I'm not tightening anything. Just want to get everything aligned. Okay, I'm going to tighten everything. All right.
Windows 10 appears to be stuck. The first time I turned it on, it gave me a blue screen that said my device ran into a problem and it rebooted and now it's uh, it's trying to load Windows. This is from the new SSD. And so I'm just going to let this go for a while to see if it recovers. All right, well, this isn't good. I'm going to force the power off and try again. This is a good sign. It'll check the disk. It'll go through all the check disk stages. And then it should boot into Windows with no issues. I've seen this a number of times. Hmm don't like it when it goes into the automatic repair. I've, I've very rarely seen a computer come out of this on its own. I think it's gonna work. There we have it. I have to admit I was holding my breath a little bit there, hoping, praying. All right, this is good. Okay, I'm going to install Samsung Magician and Windows Updates and go from there. So I'm going to set this to have 93 gigabytes set aside for over provisioning. This will help to prolong the life of the drive. It'll instead of writing and reading and writing data from exactly the same bits, it'll spread it around a little bit. 93 gigabytes worth, which will prolong the life of the drive. Okay, I'm going to stop recording there. The rest will just be installing Windows updates and getting this computer cleaned up and back to the customer. So thank you for watching.